In today's video, we'll see how to configure Ring devices like this Ring doorbell and the Ring smart lights, Ring cameras, and the Ring home alarm inside Apple Home using Hoobs. Before we start out, let me give a big shout out to the Hoobs team. Thanks again for your support in putting these videos together. Do check out their website at hoobs.org if you want to buy any Hoobs products or if you've got any queries about the Hoobs system. Thanks also to my brother because he sent me this doorbell, he bought it, packaged it up immediately and sent it to me so I could use it for this test and for this setup. If you're interested in Hoops content, I've got a big playlist of things growing up here. And if you're interested just in Apple Home in general, then do check out Shane Watley's channel. He's putting together some great content there, all focused on how to use Apple Home and how to get the most out of it. So let's run through what you'll need for this video. You will, of course, need some kind of ring device. I'm using the ring doorbell, as you've seen, and any ring camera, ring alarm, or ring smart light will do. Uh, you only need one device to get going, but any number of devices will work just fine. All Ring accounts now require two-factor authentication, so make sure you know how to get hold of your 2FA codes. By default, they're sent to your email address. If you've already configured the mobile phone setup, then they'll go to your mobile device. You'll need Hoobs, and you'll need at least version 3.1.20. The easiest way to get hold of Hoobs is to use a Hoobs in a box, like the one I'm using here. This is a pre-packaged hardware and software solution that you just plug straight into your network, and you're ready to get going. If you already have Raspberry Pi hardware that you want to run Hoobs on, then you can buy a pre-flash SD card from the Hoobs team that you can just plug in and you're ready to go. If you want to go completely DIY, then I do have a video here on how to set that up, uh, but obviously check out the Hoobs website for those products. If you upgraded to Hoobs 3.1.20 from an earlier version of Hoobs, then you'll need to install FFmpeg. This is the same also if you're just using raw Homebridge, you'll need to install a very specific version of FFmpeg. You can do that by opening up a terminal in Hoobs and running this command here, and I'll put that command in the description below so you can just copy and paste. Okay, so that's everything you need. Let's flip over and see how to get going with this. So here I am in Hoobs, and the first thing we need to do is actually install the plugin. And because the Ring plugin is a Hoobs certified plugin, this is really quite simple. I'm just going to come into the plugin section here. I'm going to browse to Safety and Security, click on the Ring here, and then just click Install. When you're using a certified plugin, you don't need to search around. You can just use the one that the Hoobs team have picked. They verify that these work, and they also work very closely with the plugin developers to make sure the whole thing is a very smooth experience. After the plugin installs, Hoobs will restart and you'll be presented with this config screen. And you can scroll down here to see all the different options for the different devices. We're going to focus just on how you get the devices actually inside Apple Home. And at the top here, you'll see email, password, and refresh token. And the only thing we're actually interested in is the refresh token. Do not enter email and password. If you do, you'll, ha you'll have all kinds of problems trying to get this to work. What we want to do is use our email and password to get hold of a refresh token. That way you don't actually have to store your email and your password in the config file. And also it works around any issues with two-factor authentication. So let me show you now how to get hold of a refresh token. Now you can do this one of two ways. You can either open up a terminal here by clicking on the three dots and going into terminal, or you can SSH directly into the machine, which is what I'm going to do. So here I am and I've SSH directly into the Hoobs machine. And what I want to do is run this command, npx space dash p, and then ring dash client dash api space ring dash auth dash cli. This will download a small CLI program, a small command line program that will prompt us for our email address, prompt us for our password, prompt us for our two-factor authentication token, and then give us the refresh token. You only need to do this once. You can then store the refresh token in your config file and you're good to go. When you're prompted for your email address, type in the email address you use to log into your Ring account. When you're prompted for the password, enter the corresponding password. You'll now be prompted for your two-factor authentication token. So when that arrives, make sure you type it in here. Just wait for mine. Okay, that's arrived and it's 298706. And if that all works, you'll get a message saying that you successfully logged into Ring and you'll get this refresh token. If it doesn't work, just run the command again and make sure you enter all the details correctly. What we want to do now is copy the value in between these quotes and we're going to paste that into the refresh token field in the Hoobs app. So here I am back in the Hoobs app and I'm just going to paste that in. And what I want to show you is I had a problem where when I was copying this it sometimes had spaces in there i guess where the line breaks were so that caused me some problems so i'm just going to remove those spaces and then i'll click save changes and that's good to go bring up the log files and you can check that everything worked fine Let me get rid of these and you can see here that ring configuring one camera is for one device and this is my uh, doorbell here if i scroll back um, you'll see that you can get this 
issue refresh token is not valid if it has spaces or if it's the wrong token or whatever. So this is me just checking that earlier on. But everything's working fine now and we should be good to go. So what I want to do now is open up the home app and we can check that everything's working. So here I am in the home app now and you'll notice there are no accessories. Nothing from the Ring account has been added. We know in the Hoobs log we saw the doorbell there but nothing's been added inside Apple Home. And the reason for this is that camera style accessories do not add automatically. If you have a uh, a smart light or a ring home alarm you'll see that here already but you won't see your camera accessories you have to add those manually so to do that i'm going to click the add accessory button here in the iphone app this is the plus icon in the top right corner click add accessory and then i'm just going to click i don't have a code or cannot scan this is the doorbell the front door doorbell that i've created here skip this bit by clicking add anyway and then just type in your code here and the code is the code from the Hoobs dashboard, which if I scroll down here, I can see is 03145154. It's this home setup pin code here. So I'll just type that in, 03145154. And there we go, that has been added. I can skip this bit if I want. So let's give it a test, let's click on it. And hopefully I'm holding it up to the camera here. There we go, you can see my, the messy back of my set. How cool is that? Um, that was it. Everything working for the Ring doorbell. Fantastic. So there we are. That is Ring working inside Apple Home through Hoobs. It's pretty simple setup, I think. The use of that little command line utility to get hold of the refresh token is really nice touch. If you saw my Nest video where you have to get the refresh tokens yourself, you'll see that's kind of painful. So this is a really nice little uh, utility there. I have a whole bunch of extra videos on hoobs up here in this playlist, so please do watch those if you're interested in hoobs, and I hope you found this video useful. If so, please hit like, please hit subscribe, and don't just hit subscribe, but hit the bell as well so you don't miss out on any future content. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.